It is finally drift day. Repping a Bunnings hat because it's a Queensland summer. And this is uh, Archerfield Drift Park behind me. Never driven it before, never been here before. Looks like a lot of fun. The cars here look really good. I have no idea what today has in store for us. Hopefully I don't crash the 34. I think that rhymed. Anyways, let's get into it. The drifting has begun! Woo! Yes! Oh my god, this looks like so much fun! Woo! Alright guys, I am so nervous. Out there just looks super hectic, but I need to get out there and get comfortable. I know I can do this. Let's do it. laps like were amazing the power was great then all of a sudden i started getting a braking up issue at around 5,000 rpm um, and we think it's a spark plug or a coil pack so we're gonna have to uh, let the engine cool down so we can work on it and then we'll try and diagnose what's going on but it just sucked because the first two laps it felt so good man what a bummer we just got the car running again it's not breaking up anymore we're good to party gonna head out we think it was just a heat issue so we took the coil pack cover off if it keeps overheating we're gonna take the um, the headlights out to get more airing because we can't take our hood off at this track so let's go I'm not having much luck guys it just kept doing the same thing so we took the front bumper off we took one headlight out try and get some more cold air in there semi even may managed to get some uh, big washers to put in there to space up the hood a little bit get some more airflow so we're gonna head out again and hopefully this time no more breakup So taking off the front bumper and the headlight definitely helped as you would have seen, but I still had a break up after a few laps. And then I will do a couple cool down laps. It'd be good for one lap and then same issue again. So we're thinking it's actually a limit in the ECU. So I've managed to borrow this laptop of this awesome guy next to me here in this red S13. What a champion. He doesn't have the link software, but I've hot spotted off my phone to download it. And uh, we are in business. So I'm just installing the link ECU software. We're going to check the uh, temp limits and get that all sorted out and then um, hopefully we'll be drifting again. I've been getting a whole bunch of really good laps and then the car would obviously get to a temperature where I then have to do a few cool down laps, pull in, let the car cool down. And I've been trying a few different things. I uh, borrowed that uh, guy's laptop again and I was able to set the AC fan to come on even though the aircon's not on um, to help cool the radiator down. As well as I started bleeding, re-bleeding the system and I found that there was a lot of air still in the cooling system. So hopefully that's made a difference. I've got Semi in the passenger seat. He's gonna monitor the laptop and see if our temps, uh, if it makes a difference essentially. But uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't like this last time we were out driving. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's okay. It is okay. like a 40 plus degree Celsius day. So that as well, really so helping. the weather doesn't help either. I am having so much fun. I cannot believe it's taking me this long to go to Archerfield. Look at this huge. So cool. Anyways, I can't believe it's taking me this long to come here. It's tight, it's technical, and it's a lot of fun to practice tandems on. I just wish my car was driving better. Oh well, next time.
So we solved the issue. After about six laps, I just get these guys. These are these. All of these people are my sprayer team, and they spray everything. That's what they do. Uh, that's a interesting place to hold that. Anyways, pretty much I pull in after like six or seven good laps, and I come in. We spray it, get all the water on there. It drops right back down to 80. We go up, do some more hot lapping, come in, and uh, that's the solution for today because Australia heat really sucks. Really sucks. But also we need to change up the uh, the radiator and uh, the fanning system and just get everything cooling better. We also need to flush it all out, get all the gunk out of the system because it's been sitting for so long. Coolant tends to do that. Anyways, let's get to back into some driving. All right, so I got my friend Gabby in the car. She's gonna be coming for a passenger run. Is this the first time you've been in as a passenger or? Um, actually second time. Second time, okay. Let's see if we can scare you a bit. <laughs> So the event is now over, got to drive a lot. And guess what? The best thing of them all is that I didn't break or damage the 34 in the slightest. The thing is all in one piece, not a single mark. And I drove well, actually drove well. God, I love this car. I love everything about this car, but just listen to this. the spool. It's so good. I literally feel like, I, well, I don't know. I'm not a father, but I feel like this is what it would feel like to be a father because I spent all this time and effort on this car and it did good today. Despite the cooling issues, we'll fix that. That's not a big problem. We, we got a solution for that with the water, but I feel like today was just awesome because she did well. She did really, really well. Oh man, I must look like an idiot, but anyways, time to get some gas. Drink, my beautiful. Well, I'm not sure what was in that gas that I put in my car. I just checked the footage to make sure I put in 98, and I did, and now my car will not start. Whatever was in that gas has just completely screwed me over. So here I am, stuck on the side of the road, waiting for friends to come save me. Um, hopefully it's just bad gas. I'm pretty sure it is because like the car just started breaking down the moment I left the gas station, so Man, this sucks. Okay, so a really nice couple actually helped me push the car All the way from up there down into this side street next to 7-eleven and I started diagnosing the issue on the car and uh, You know how when you turn your key on it's supposed to prime the system well in my case I have zero PSI of fuel pressure now. So I don't think it's bad fuel. I think my fuel pump might have died, which is a bit odd. Um, it was fine all event, not a single problem. And now it's dead after putting that gas in. I don't know why, uh, it's weird to me. So we'll have to pull it all out and check at the workshop. But man, how weird is it on the drive home? So weird. I'm being saved. Michael Bambling to the rescue. Woo Time to get this thing to Otaku Garage. All right, so we just unloaded the 34 here at Otaku Garage. We're gonna lock it up here for the night. I'm gonna take Semi's ute home. 
and then tomorrow we'll uh, take a look at it and get it fixed. I'm sure it's going to be something simple like a wiring issue, fuse or relay or something like that. We'll get it sorted and then uh, she'll be running again. Massive shout out to Bam Bullant Towing. Go check him out on Facebook. Oh, I love his number plate too. I love to tow. <laughs> Rad guy, he's fully involved in the drift scene and uh, really good also for low cars. He's got all the ramps and the gear for that. So if you're ever in a tight situation, give him a call, hit him up, he'll sort you out. Wow, what a day. Today was just absolutely awesome. The R34 drove amazing, despite, I mean, like, sure, we had some cooling issues, but we kind of got that manageable by the end of the event. Um, you know, we were using water sprays, we took the front bar off and the headlight and stuff. Um, but just everything about the car, we dialed in the suspension a bit better, got it soft in the rear and nice and firm in the front, and the car started gripping up really well, and it was just so much fun driving that thing on track. Man, I missed it, and it just felt so good. Like, that, that angle kit we got, that made a huge difference. I didn't I didn't really spin out much on track. The only few times I did was just because I didn't realize how aggressive the angle kit was. I was like, well, all of a sudden I've got massive angle and I just like, you know, panicked a bit and tapped on the brake on my first few laps. But like, it was so good. And then the Mumba Turbo. This is what surprised me the most. From like two and a half thousand RPM, full boost, 18 PSI, and it just, the power was just so consistent and there. When like, I would enter these corners and stuff like that and I rarely had to like, you know, keep the throttle pumping and stuff while I was clutch kick, uh, sorry, doing e-brakes and putting my foot on the clutch and stuff like that. Like I have to balance it with my uh, 33 in Japan. It was just so responsive and whenever I needed the power, it was just there. It felt like I had the stock turbo, but it was like so much more. So it was, it was really brilliant. I actually really loved it. So. Uh, I just want to say, like, I highly recommend this Mumba bolt-on turbo kit for anyone who doesn't want to do, like, a crazy top mount setup because it's just as good as any of, the, like, the Hyper Gear or the GCG high flow um, kits that they do where you send them your blown up turbo or your, or your OP6 turbo and they bore it out and put the new core in and everything. Um, and th those options are great. They, they're they good, but the price to what you get, I feel like, is a little bit too much and Mumba's like nailed it on the head. It comes in the, the Nissan OEM uh, compressor housing and everything, and it performs just as good as those ones, but it's much cheaper. And I did talk to them as well about the whole banjo bolt thing and the water leak and not sealing. They took on my advice and they're gonna be using those metric adapters now with their water kits. And I think that's so good that a company is actually listening to like their company, the, the, sorry, their customers and taking on advice because it means they're not in it for just making money. They actually wanna pr like produce a better product. So I think that's really exciting as well that Mumba's doing that. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a really responsive, good power kind of like, you know, and, and price per power as well is amazing with it, then uh, yeah, definitely get yourself one. I'll put a link down in the description, check it out. Um, and then I just wanna say a huge, massive thank you to everyone that helped me out today. You all know who you are, people that helped out with the car, changing tires, helping me take off the front bar and the headlight and stuff like that. And just, you know, overall just helping me out in general today. It was so good to see all of you guys pull together and help me out. Some guy even let me his Windows laptop so I could jump into the link ECU and make some changes. It was just such a good day and I'm just so appreciative. But I really do want to say a massive, massive thank you to Semi Veins. He's been a really good friend of mine, like a best friend for a very long time. And then as well, he's my business partner. But whenever I come to Australia and I'm like, hey man, let's do something crazy and in a ridiculous deadline, he's on board and he helps out as much as he can. And then just at the event as well, he's just so good to have helping out. Um, yeah, my heart is full. I feel really happy. Um, despite everything that happened with the car today, I don't think there's gonna be, it's going to be a big issue. I think we'll sort it out first thing in the morning. But um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm happy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video, guys. Ciao, matane.